Imagine turning a market crash into your financial breakthrough. Sounds too good to be true. In today's video, we're uncovering the secrets of thriving during market dips. Where others see fear, we see a gold mine. This isn't just about surviving a downturn, but mastering it. Today, you'll learn how to leverage these lows to build lasting wealth. Stay tuned as we break down proven strategies to not only buy the dip effectively, but also identify which crypto assets are ripe for the picking. Plus, a special segment on avoiding common pitfalls that trap unprepared investors. Remember, while the potential for profit is alluring, the risks are real. It's not just about buying low, but buying right. We'll dive into how to make informed choices that safeguard your investments. So, are you ready to transform market fears into financial opportunities? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us on Twitter for instant updates. Let's dive in and turn those dips into dividends. This correction, also known as the dip phase, isn't a cause for panic, it's an opportunity. By mastering the art of buying the dip, you can position yourself to reap significant rewards when the market rebounds. Corrections are temporary periods of price decline within a larger upward trend in the market. They are a natural part of the market cycle and serve several important functions. Corrections can help to weed out overheated markets, attract new investors by presenting attractive entry points, and allow for price discovery, which is the process by which the market establishes a fair price for an asset. The current market consolidation is a crucial time for strategic positioning. The goal is not to chase high risk, short-term gains that could lead to significant losses if the market continues to decline. Instead, focus on building a strong foundation for long-term success. This means shoring up your risk management strategies, conducting in-depth research to identify fundamentally sound assets with high growth potential, and setting realistic investment goals. By plotting historical halving events and subsequent bull runs on a chart, you can identify recurring patterns and anticipate potential entry points in the upcoming consolidation phase. And to have good knowledge on these guys, you need to stay informed about global economic factors. Geopolitical events, major economic shifts, and regulatory changes can all impact the cryptocurrency market. By staying informed about these developments, you can make more informed decisions about when to enter or exit the market. While the concept of buying the dip implies purchasing assets at their absolute lowest point, perfectly timing the market bottom is notoriously difficult, if not impossible. However, there are strategies to increase your chances of buying at a good price during a correction, and we will talk about them in a minute. Some of you might want to ask, why should I buy the dip? Well, here's the answer. When prices fall, you can buy more shares of an asset for the same amount of money. This can lower your average cost per share, which can lead to higher profits when the price recovers. Also, corrections are temporary setbacks within a larger upward trend for the market. By buying during a dip, you're potentially buying quality assets at a discount with the expectation that the price will eventually rise again. Even savvy investors can use dips as opportunities to buy low and sell high. By employing strategies like cost averaging and limit orders, which we would look at later, investors aim to capitalize on short-term price fluctuations. Technical indicators like moving averages, relative strength index, and Bollinger Bands can provide insights into potential support and resistance levels. When the price dips below a key support level, it may indicate a buying opportunity. However, technical analysis should not be used in isolation and false signals can occur. Extreme fear and panic in the market can signal an overreaction, potentially presenting a good buying opportunity. Conversely, excessive euphoria can precede a correction. Stay informed about market sentiment through news and social media analysis, but avoid making impulsive decisions based solely on emotion. Focusing on undervalued assets with strong fundamentals is crucial for maximizing your returns before even just buying the dip for any altcoin. Here's a deeper look at what strong fundamentals mean, which we didn't mention earlier. You need to look into the project team. Research the team behind the project. Look for a team with experience, a proven track record, and the skills necessary to bring the project to fruition. The project purpose is very crucial. Does the project solve a real problem in the blockchain space? Does it offer a unique value proposition compared to existing solutions? A clear purpose with a strong market fit increases the project's chance of success. Token utility is very important too. Does the token have a clear use case within the project's ecosystem? Utility tokens with real-world applications tend to be more valuable than those without. Community engagement is another fun factor, guys. A healthy and active community around a project fosters collaboration and growth. Look for projects with a strong social media presence and engage developer communities. This goes a long way in the life of any crypto project. These are the points you need to consider before buying the dip. Let's talk about the signs of a bear market in order to avoid one and not buy the dip on a bear market. There is always a lengthy downturn. Bear markets can last for months or even years with prices declining by 20% or more. Bear markets are characterized by a pervasive sense of fear and pessimism. Investors are more likely to be focused on selling to preserve capital than buying the dip. 
Bear markets often coincide with broader economic slowdowns or recessions. Factors like rising interest rates, high inflation, or geopolitical instability can contribute to a bear market. Now you know how to avoid these bear markets when you see one. Now let's talk about the most common buy the dip strategy dollar cost averaging. This strategy involves investing a fixed amount of money into a particular asset at regular intervals, regardless of the asset's current price. By consistently buying over time, you acquire more shares when the price is low and fewer shares when the price is high. This approach helps to average out your cost per share over the long term and can potentially reduce the impact of market volatility on your overall investment. Allocate a small portion of your portfolio, ideally no more than 3%, to potential high-risk, high-dot-reward investments during dips. This allows you to participate in potentially explosive growth opportunities while limiting your downside risk. Additionally, consider dollar cost averaging into these investments throughout the correction phase to acquire them at various price points, potentially lowering your overall cost basis. Imagine you have a $1,000 portfolio that you plan to allocate to Bitcoin. Instead of investing the entire amount at once, you could divide it into four equal installments of $250 and invest $250 every month for four months. This way, if the price of Bitcoin fluctuates during that time period, you'll be buying more shares when the price is low and fewer shares when the price is high. Over time, this approach can help you accumulate shares at a lower average cost than if you had invested the entire $1,000 at a single point in time. Limit orders is another popular strategy. Limit orders allow you to set a specific price at which you want to buy an asset. This can be a valuable tool for disciplined investors who want to avoid making emotional decisions during market dips. By placing a limit order below the current market price, you are essentially instructing the exchange to buy the asset only if the price falls to your designated trigger price. This can help you to secure a more favorable entry point and potentially improve your returns. Establish specific thresholds for price drops. A 5 to 7% dip for Bitcoin and a 10 to 15% dip for altcoins could be your triggers. Remember, these are just starting points and you can adjust them based on your risk tolerance and the specific asset you're considering. However, there is no guarantee that your order will be filled. If the price of the asset drops quickly, and then rebounds back above your limit price, your order will not be executed. Remember, the key to success is strategic planning, not impulsive decisions. Risk only what you can afford to lose as this video is not financial advice. So hit that like button if you learned something valuable, drop some thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you think about this video and subscribe for more in-depth crypto analysis. Now, you've learned how to identify buying opportunities during a correction, but which specific coins should you target? We've got you covered there too. Check out our trending video, Best Picks for the Dip, Artificial Intelligence, RWA, DeFi, and more to discover high potential projects in these exciting areas. Click on the video on the left of the screen. We see you there.